touch any of my stuff. It's a hobo. Hey there, man. Hey, bro. Who are you? The guy who owns that stuff. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Me. Oh, I am fancy, Charles. Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him, too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. So you saw me do all this shit? Yeah. Green folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. So everyone already met this guy while I was running around like an idiot. Yep. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He's Chuck. What? Normal. See, okay. He gave you candy as well. Normal. Okay, Ben, ben has the funniest faces. Candy. You have candy? You have candy. Uh, oh, I'll just pop over. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> oh, don't tell me he's gonna pull like some miracle man. Not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Kenny, you ain't gonna be the leader of this shit. Not after all the bullshit you did before. Because right now, I definitely trust him a lot more right, than you. I'm gonna talk to you, Chuck. Charles. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all. Actually, it's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. Where are you from? You look around here? Is he from Macon too? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, no, I want to talk to him. I want to make sure everything's okay. Taste okay? He was really good. No funny aftertaste. No. Like no, PC, PC. Yeah, he kind of did take. It's like, yeah, it's the whole oldest trope. Candy from strangers. So in the preview, I saw a whole bunch of like zombie fighting martial artists or whatever. Where are they? Ah, uh, no, nah, leave it go. Yeah. But what, oh, there you are. So that's it. We're cut loose. Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. That, you know, they missed, you missed a, missed a little line there, bro. Right. Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Really, no. That's good to know. That's sick. Yeah. They're on the train, Clementine. Can you shut the fuck up? Kenny, I will I, 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 I will boot you in the face. Let me look at him. Ah, he's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is she doing? Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Bitch, you ain't my father. Okay. 
You're Doug's father. You ain't mine. Go punch him in the face. I will. If I can. I will gladly hit that button. And I still don't like the way you've been fucking talking Clementine. I won't fucking punch you in the ear. What's the option? Alright, we'll throw up. Punch him later, I guess. That's the You think Interesting. It Let's put it up. Hmm. Yeah, there it is. I'm moving. Yeah. Yeah. I like trains. Everything's going to be cool now. Look at this go. Does Clementine like trains? Duck doesn't like trains. He doesn't like trains very much. Duck doesn't like anything very much. And the game's over. I swear if it is. Oh, Zambini. He doesn't have an arm. What an arm is Zambini. Ooh! No, I just want him to like dive in front of the train. That'd be fine. But, no. This isn't gonna be good. You know what's gonna happen? Just me, Clementine. You gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get him? No. Ah, Living got him. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? If you get that off his face, my hands are full of you. I do not want to go He's anywhere near his hand. face. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? I don't want to go anywhere near his fucking face. He's gonna bite you. He's gonna bite me. He's gonna bite you. Rock. Rock. I'm gonna be the gay zombie. Oh, I have some brains right now. You got a burly brain. Ooh, you look, you look strong, Mr. Man. Clementine, I want you coming with me. I'm gonna go get Kiki. Hold on tight and keep some drinks stuff fast. Like the best dressed zombie. Yeah, <laughs> zombie the best dressed. Oh, you know, you zombie fashion one right one. You know how it is. You know how it is. Stop it. We go down to San Francisco, to the Foundy Raid. <laughs> the Castro Foundy, District. Gay Foundy Pride, you guys. All right, uh, I'm going we're right here. Right. We're here. We're here. We love brains. Get used to it. Perception is the, the, the key here. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> Frank's like, oh. Oh. Oh, oh my. I could totally see really, man, that you? movie. I could see, that movie Warm Bodies was like Twilight for Zombies. Uh, yeah. Or I Twilight with Zombies. I could see a parody of that going exactly the way you I guys just did. I love a gay zombie movie. I love it. Rawr. I love it. You need to stop the train. Bitch, I know you heard me. Punch him. Can I punch him? Punch him. Oh, I can show him the rag. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? That's your son. Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. No, he won't. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there. Heck you. Punch him with a punch button. Where's the punch button? Oh. oh. Fight him! Fight him! Press the A button, George. I will. Yeah. You acted like nothing's wrong, and somebody's gotta knock some sense into you. Nope. Oh. Right. Pussing up, George. What the fuck? I don't need you, and Doc doesn't need you. Getting your ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> I told Captain I'd get you to stop this and you bet your ass I'm gonna. Uh. Fuck. Uh. Well, fuck if we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck. Uh. 
Yeah. You want to hurt people because you're afraid. Losing duck ain't enough for you. Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this. I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen. Freaked out because I thought that freaking he broke his neck. That'd be crazy. Again, it's. I think it's time. The boy's been bit. In case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. I'll do it. No. It should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Duck's looking a little raggedy right now. That's what he gets for trying to be Robin. Duck! <laughs> Ain't nobody Robin. I didn't high five him. Yeah, well, he only didn't yeah. deserve it. Duck is dying. I know. Putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are. What? The what? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. What happened? Da -da 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 Wait. Everyone had a gun now. <laughs> Whoa, no! Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Bad. Why? Cat? Why? Oh, fucking God! <laughs> so, uh... Oh, my God. I... I... There's no one left. Wow. 
Okay, I know it's supposed to be a serious moment, but those tears looked real. No, <laughs> just painted. Yeah, they look real, real tears. Look quite pain. What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. Say it to me, asshole, what you said to my girl. Excuse me, son. Telling the little girl she's gonna die. Wanna scare people, scare me. Fucker. Okay, no. The black came out for like, the closest die. thing. Bitch. How is that? How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Now we're both scared. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I'll tell you, as long as you don't toss me over the rail. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Like a gun. Are you kidding me? What, she's too young to handle one? There ain't too young. Not anymore. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. Find some scissors in my pack, and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Guess what you're gonna do next? Okay. That actually, he actually, he has, he has a good, very good point. <laughs> well, yeah, he does. Kenny ended up shooting his son out there. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. 
Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there, about whether or not you folks want company. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. <laughs> he still wants that teacup full of bourbon. I think we all want a teacup full of bourbon. I think I can't move. Yeah. Oh. Kenny, how's it go? Oh. 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 You look kind of down, Kenny. What's up? Oh. Well, for all that shit. It'll be good to get to the water. So I can drown myself. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Hey. Yeah? I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat... would be, uh... okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Are there any maps up here? I don't... Motherfucker's home right there! Go the one with Clips. She has a lay of the land. Once we get to Savannah... Like a map in, maybe, Ken? Hey, I looked before. Well, and if I get by you for a second, Kenny. Can you just leave me alone? You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Get out of here. What's your problem? Well, and if I get by you for a second, Kenny. Can you just leave me alone? Still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Fucking asshole. Just think, I was starting to feel sorry for him. And you're not anymore? Nope. I'm marginally less sorry for him. Hey, hey, you seem pumped. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have minded that. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. I don't know if we can count on Kenny. He's driving the train okay. We just don't know. I lost everybody I've known because of this. I didn't even get back to my house. Who knows what's up with my parents? Why didn't you try to find them? I... Nobody would go with me. It was a while ago. Well, what happened to Kenny is different. I guess. See you. Yeah. Bottle of whiskey. Well then. Yeah, I'm just fucking down that shit. But where's the blood stain? I just saw it. I hope we're not on this train much longer. It's a fifth of whiskey. He's lived here a while. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You can come time, Awesome. Okay. I love come time. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What a crappy day. Crappiest. 
And three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. Yay, Clementine! What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. <laughs> Alright, dude. Keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like So we're gonna do martial arts training. Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Eee! Eee! Hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Alright, so where do you want to land? Uh, uh hold on, let me think, let me think. And left. Okay. Yeah. Mallet space. Train space. <laughs> oh, okay, that's wow, that's way high. Yeah, that's okay, high. I got this, I got this. Aim more to the right. Yeah, aim to the right. And go lower. Yeah, that's so good. Nice. Woo! Uh, okay, one more time. We're gonna call one, you Dead Eye Clem! Uh, one shot, one kill. We're gonna call you Dead Eye Clem. There you go. Yep, alright. Here we go. Uh, how many times I gotta tell you not to lock your arms? Just pretend that they were walker heads. Work out. Just like you should. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not walkers, though. No, they're not. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. Graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. Take you one day to hunt. A long day. Hurry up. A long way from way. A long road ahead. All right. Yay, come time. Good job. My hands hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like... You'll get used to it. <laughs> Fucking love the uh, time. Okay. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. Yeah, it might be. Uh, me too. Are we supposed to cut her hair? Yeah, but I got fine scissors. He said he was packed. Well, first I'm gonna give him this whiskey, maybe that might do something. Cause I couldn't find his pad. Oh, fuck you, Kenny. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? 
in front of the trains here. How funny would it have been if I had drunk first? And then show show Clementine. How are you using a gun? You see that thing? That guy's a walker. Fuck you. Fire. Alcohol and firearms. Perfect combo. Yeah. America. Yeah, that dude's got alcohol. Would that work? Check one of the notes here. Got some. Yeah. Look, 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 the way he looked, he's like, yeah. yeah, man, he got that shit, that good shit. Yeah. That Operating oh, machinery. Like map. Give me the shit. And it just went to the mountain space. See, look, look, I turn around and where, where did it go? Where did it go? Into where my go? pants. Where did it go? In his pants. Let's use the console. Let's like put this. Stop this train. And dead in its tracks. He knows better. Yeah. Thanks. Whatever you f- uh... Hey, kid. Hey, kid. Time right. for you to graduate and become a man. Hey. Hey. See ya. See ya. <laughs> hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. <laughs> hey, Ben. 